what is going on guys got something pretty cool in the mail today um, had really told anybody about about what was going on when uh, in regards to this beautiful little box um, but yeah I just I just got it in the mail um, I don't know how many people of you guys have heard of Cardo systems um, but they make they make Bluetooth headsets um, and they're called the uh, Scala Riders. Now I got in contact with this company. Throw that shit up out of here. Throw it out of here. And um, talk to them about doing reviews for their products, getting the name out. And since this is right before riding season, they were more than happy to oblige. And as you see, they sent me their they sent me a multi set of their mid level uh, their mid level Bluetooth headset um, for for motorcycle helmets. It's called the Scala Rider Q3, and like I said, this is a multi set. First time I've opened it, just took it out of the box. Um, so, if this unboxing isn't the greatest, I do apologize. But as you see, when you first open it, you're gonna have two of the Scala Rider Q3 uh, units right there on display. Um, get two little two little pouches for them. And this is what I'm going to assume is the um, the little wind muffler for the um, for the boom mic that comes with the with the units. You get your wall adapter for charging. These are going to be your two speakers that go inside of your helmet and the ear in the earpieces. Um, and for for some of you guys that don't really um, know what uh, these Bluetooth headsets do. Um, they're they're really cool. Um, you can actually you can use the Bluetooth headsets um, to wirelessly link to your phone like you would a Bluetooth headset. Um, just use that's just just a normal Bluetooth headset. Um, you can stream music from your from your uh, smartphone um, or Bluetooth enabled device straight to the the, the speakers that are going to go in your ear the ear holes in your motorcycle helmet. Um, you can also take calls. Um, I know with this um, this unit in particular, you can wireless wirelessly link up to four of the Scalarata Q3 units, um, and that's without a phone, that's without anything. And you can wirelessly intercom between four units um, simultaneously. So if you have a group of guys going out, and um, all four of you guys have a, um, a a Q3, you simply link them up. And you, it's, it's like you're sitting at a table talking, like if you guys were sitting at this table talking to me right now. So it's pretty cool. Um, there's a, a number of Bluetooth headset, uh, Bluetooth headsets out there. The two big hitters um, are Sina. Um, as you'll see, a lot of motor vloggers has have the um, SMH5 and the SMH10, I believe is what it is. Um, and this is basically Cardo's version of it. Um, like I said, the two big hitters are pretty much Sina and Cardo. Um, I know every Cardo system um, I've ever seen has had amazing reviews, so I'm really, really excited about um, popping this on the helmet, doing a review on it, and letting you guys know how good of a system it is. I saw on Amazon these retail for the multi system. It's right at I think about 290. Um, so not bad at all. I mean, when you think about it, you're only paying a little over like 140, 145 um, for a set of two. Which I mean, it, it, that, that's that's a great deal, especially when you're going to get a, a quality product. All right, now that we unbox the unit, we're going to go ahead and show you how to install it onto your helmet. So first thing you want to find is you want to find this mounting bracket with the with the attached boom mic. So what this mounting bracket does is you're going to see these two Allen bolts on the back of the, on the back side of the um, back side of the, the bracket. So with your Scala Rider, you're going to find a little bag with two wind um, wind noise buffers, if you will. Now, in the same bag, you're going to have a small Allen key. The Allen key is going to be used to loosen up these nuts. So, what you want to do is you want to loosen them up. So, you're going to get them nice and loose. And what that's going to do is that's going to allow this metal bracket piece to come off or separate from the rest of the mounting bracket. So what you're going to do with this is once you once you separate it, 
this side goes to the outside of your helmet and then this is basically going to be wide enough for the brim of your helmet to go inside so you're going to put it up the brim of the helmet inside of this opening right here and then just simply clamp it down once you're done doing that it should look something like this so as you see I got the, the mounting bracket here on the helmet nice and snug um, you really don't have to worry about anything um, as far as falling off or being loose it's when you get it on there it's it's on there so as you can see it goes right through here the brim of the helmet goes right into the middle of that clamp it down you're good to go and then you're going to feed the boom mic this little guy you're gonna feed it in through the side attach it with this velcro pad and then just from there fixate it where you would like the microphone to be placed in front of your mouth now once you get that added on the way to put this, the actual unit onto the clamp is pretty straightforward so here we have our Scala Rider Q3 you're basically just going to hold it like this the skinny end is always going to face towards your chin so you're going to put it up here push it down and you're on you're all set you're good to go so very simple pop it off and you're, you're good to charge it um, so basically once you get that you're just about done once you once you put the mounting bracket onto the side of your helmet you're 85 percent of the way there the only thing you have left to do is to install your speaker system now these are your speakers they come in a small bag and basically the way that you are going to attach these speakers into your helmet is onto the back of the Q3 which another cool feature of the Q3 is you're going to see the um, the headphones or the um, not the headphones but the um, the speakers they're going to plug in it's a standard 3.5 millimeter uh, millimeter headphone jack plug the speakers into the back of the base station to the back of the mount of the Scala Rider unit and then you literally feed the short feed the short uh, wired speaker into the um, the ear opening closest or on the side that you mounted the actual unit and then feed this around feed the, the long end around the back of your helmet and put this one into the to the opposite ear um, they mount into the ear pieces with velcro I would suggest once you mount the first one put the helmet on make sure it's in the right positioning um, I know whenever I put mine in um, I kind of messed up a couple of times uh, one time it was at the top of part of my ear then it was a little bit in front of my ear so you're gonna have to play around with it a little bit but the fact that it's velcro really helps uh, really helps you because um, you're able to just pop it off pop it in put it put it put it wherever you need to so other than that it's it's pretty straightforward um, I know whenever I ran the long um, the long speaker over to the other side of the helmet I did have a little bit of extra um, a little bit of extra wire uh, on the back uh, behind my um, behind the padding in the back of my helmet I simply just pulled it uh, pulled it pulled it tight and uh, taped it into the into the back that way it didn't have any movement but um yeah it's it's very straightforward once you put the speakers in you're completely done um, it took me about five minutes five ten minutes at the very most so you you really shouldn't have any issues whatsoever um, when it comes to installing um, your Scala Rider G3 or G uh, not G3 Q3 um, or G9 system whichever one uh, whichever one you do end up going with um, it's you're really not going to have any issues at all so no issues there um, and then you do also get um, two buffers like I showed you previously I elected to put the bigger um, the bigger wind buffer on simply because it it's gonna it's gonna give you more protection from the wind um, and to me more is better especially when when you think we ride motorcycles and especially with a helmet like mine my helmet has a lot of wind noise um, it's made for warmer climate so I don't know why I moved to Boston but <laughs> um, yeah it's made for a warmer a warmer uh, climate so 
I'll let in a little bit more wind noise, so I figured it would probably be a good idea to go ahead and take advantage. This is the one that comes on the unit, so as you can see, it's it's pretty small. So I liked it to go with the bigger one. Really your prerogative. Um, in a perfect world, I would have tried it out first and then put it on, um, but I mean, we will see. My bike will, will be in my possession shortly, so we will go from there. But yeah, guys, that's really um, that's really about it. Installing the Scala Rider is very, very, very simple. Um, there shouldn't be any issues that you that you will have at all. Um, if you do have any questions, comments, or concerns about the Scala Rider Q3, please by all means send me a um, send me a message on YouTube. Uh, you can add me uh, add my YouTube channel's Facebook and uh, message me on, message me on there. Um, I'm always open to to answering questions, especially if I'm going to be doing a review on something as expensive as this. Um, I know I know people don't like to spend a lot of money on something and not really know what they're getting. Um, so yeah, have any questions? Please feel free to comment. Uh, also, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe on the video. Um, and who knows? I might have a review for you on the uh, the G9 here shortly. Never know. So. Hope you guys enjoyed the unboxing and the install instructions for the Scala Rider Q3. And you guys stay safe out there. Keep the shiny side up. Ride on too. Have a good one, guys.